Okay, we're gonna take a look at two states right now, Maine and Nebraska, uh, during the 2020 election. Now, Maine and Nebraska are very unusual states because they count their electoral votes differently than everybody else. 48 states out of the 50 have what's called winner take all, where they take the popular vote and whoever wins the popular vote in the state wins all of the electoral votes, except in Maine and Nebraska. So we're gonna use Nebraska here as an example on how the congressional district method works. Okay, first of all, uh, Nebraska has five electoral votes. And the reason you know that is because they have one, two, three house districts plus two senators, that equals five electoral votes, okay? Now this is how they're gonna count their votes. First, you got, uh, let's just say, and this is a hypothetical situation, First, let's say that Trump wins the first congressional district. So we're gonna give Trump one electoral vote, okay? Because he won the first congressional district. Now this is Omaha in the second congressional district. And let's say for the sake of argument that Biden wins um, the second congressional district. So Biden is going to get one electoral vote. Now the third district out here, that's very heavily Trump. So Trump's gonna win that one and he gets a second electoral vote. Now remember, Nebraska has five electoral votes total. So where do the other two go? So what you do is you take the entire state, okay? You count up all the votes throughout the state and whoever wins the popular vote wins the two Senate district votes. So in this case, Trump is gonna have four electoral votes to Biden's one. Now, who's happy about this? Actually Biden, because had Nebraska had a winner-take-all system, Biden wouldn't get anything. But because this is broken down this way, Biden is probably pretty happy. Trump's not happy about that because he lost an electoral vote. Now, the same thing is going on in Maine. Maine has only two congressional districts, so, but they do it the same way as this one. And so this is just an idea of what they're talking about in the news on the night of the 2020 election when they're talking about Nebraska and Maine having split electoral votes.